everybody out there in YouTube land. You know who this is. It's your VHS collector Kyle here with a new video. I figured I would talk about the new things that are coming out in this year as well as next year. Some of the things I'm looking forward to that is. Um, maybe I can tell from the look of my shirt that most of the things I'm going to be talking about, you all might have already heard about this, you might have already known about this. There's probably other people, I'm, I, I know there is, there's a lot of people out there that's already talked about this, but I'm going to, you know, show my feelings about it, you know, or share my feelings. Show my feelings. Share my feelings with you about how I feel about this one. Share my feelings with you about how I feel about this one. I got my little handy dandy clipboard so I can read off whatever I'm talking about since I'm lazy to do edits, especially having to remember stuff because I am stupid. Okay, first one that I'm going to talk about is the uh, new reboot of the DuckTales series. Uh, they have some pictures, only two really. There's two pictures that they have out, the first one which came out, and then they had a newest one, which just recently that I saw on, a, on Twitter, uh, not recently, but I mean I saw it as I was looking up images for it, but I'm pretty sure it, it was put on Twitter. Um, it looks neat, I like the art style, it doesn't look that bad, I mean I understand that uh, the classic DuckTales is always going to be my favorite. Uh, really the only thing on this whole list that's uh, Disney oriented to just uh, point that out oh uh, but uh, uh, I can't wait for it to come out um, it's sad to know that they're recasting all the voices uh, I kind of wish they wouldn't uh, hopefully maybe hopefully they'll get um, uh, Tony Oh, Tony Arsenio, uh, not Tony Arsenio, or, so, uh, or Alonzo, I don't know, I can't really remember his name. That was one of the things I should have looked up. But um, the uh, the one that's been prov uh, providing the voice of Donald Duck to begin with, hopefully that Donald will be in this new series and not be away like in the original series. I'd love to see that. I'd love to have it have Uncle, uh, Uncle Scrooge and Uncle Donald with uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Webby and maybe a few other characters from you know the, the show I mean I think it'd be kind of neat if Mickey Mouse and Goofy popped up I think that'd be kind of cool I wouldn't mind seeing that in the show uh, I mean yes uh, the, the original voice of Uncle Scrooge uh, passed away just of uh, just of last year I think it was last year or the year before that um, and I can't think of his name at the top of my head, which I've always remembered his name. He was uh, Wilbur on uh, Mr. Ed and all. But um, I can't wait to see it. So uh, it'll be airing on Disney XD sometime next year. So uh, be looking out for that. Uh, my other one I'm going to talk about is pretty much the rest will be all Nick, Nickelodeon stuff. All pretty much 90s Nickelodeon stuff. Uh, hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie, uh, which was brought up back whenever the series was on the air but since the theatrical movie of, of Hey Arnold um, tanked and didn't do really good in theaters that's how come the series got cancelled the, the series just ended up getting cancelled and so I believe that there was supposed to be uh, it was going to be the jungle movie like if this one did really well they are going to do a theatrical pretty much which would uh, in the whole series where Har Arnold actually goes out searching for his parents um, which I can't wait um, that'll be sometime next year as well uh, I know that the characters are supposed to be a lot older uh, they have a lot of concept art out they got some new drawings of the of the main four characters that uh, I've seen which is Helga Arnold Gerald and um, uh, I can't think of um, the the girl with the glasses that hung out with uh, Helga a lot. I can't think of her name. But, uh, not Phoebe? It's not Phoebe, is it? Is it Phoebe? Oh, well. I'll be posting pictures, so you'll get to neat little, you know, art. I'll be showing those as I'm talking about this stuff, so 
I can't wait for that, so that, that'll be really neat. Uh, the next one, which doesn't have any art yet, or doesn't have any really um, uh, updates as much as whatever I could find, which is the new Rocco's Modern Life TV special, which I think is going to be a holiday special. Uh, it's supposed to take place, you know, years after the, the series has already ended. Uh, hopefully all the main cast is going to be coming back that did the voices. Uh, I'm pretty sure they would. I mean, most of the main cast who works on Spongebob is pretty much most of the voice cast on uh, Rocco's Modern Life, which I think is really neat. I uh, can't wait for that. that that'll be sometime, uh, I think, I don't know, I think it's next year? I mean, I don't know if it could, it could be this year. I mean, I couldn't really find a real date, or year, that is, when this is supposed to air. Um, all right, the last one I'm going to talk about, which is um, the Legends of the Hidden Temple movie, which is airing this, this year, this fall. This is the only one that's airing, actually, of this year. Uh, the TV movie, that is. Uh, really excited for this. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I understand that it's going to have three kids in it. Their names, which is Isabella uh, Moner, uh, you know, the girl from the Nickelodeon movie Splitting Adam, as well as the TV series 100 Things to Do Before High School. Uh, and I, I like that show. I like the movie. I thought they, uh, even with the guy that played uh, Henry Danger, uh, I, I really did like those. I thought that was cool. Uh, Jet uh, Juggerson Meyer, I think is that's how you pronounce his, uh, his last name. Uh, he's the kid that was in the Disney 100 uh, TV movie, The Adventures in Babysitting. He was like the little cook, you know, which I thought that was a cute movie too. Uh, Colin Critch. Critcherly, yeah, that there's not really an, an yeah Critcherly. I think I think he's new. I mean, if he has been in some other things, I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me in the comments below if if this kid has been in any other uh, TV series or movies from around the world that I wouldn't know. I think it's cool that uh, Kurt Fogg, the the original uh, TV host of the Legends of the Hidden uh, Temple game, is going to be in it, as well as. D. Bradley Baker, um, the voice of uh, lots of like animals and uh, Perry the Platypus. Uh, he does thousands of voice voices. You know, he's a voice actor. Uh, he he was the original Olmec, so I think that's cool that they're bringing him back to voice Olmec. So I I didn't even know that he was the voice of Olmec. You know, so that. That's one of the things I'm kind of excited for. I can't wait to see how, how this movie's gonna uh, be. Hopefully, if it does good, maybe they'll do some other movies. You know, how about a, uh, you know, an arcade, Nick, Nick Arcade movie. How would that be kind of cool? Or maybe a Double Dare movie? I mean, how neat would that be? I mean, yeah, the, the Legends of the Hidden Temple is gonna be more of like, I mean, it's not gonna be like the game show it's going to be more of like a tour guide taking them through um you know some type of uh ancient ruins and stuff and it comes to find out that there's all these things that are hidden throughout the you know that these kids end up uh making a detour in the tour they end up going somewhere else where they're not supposed to and they meet up with uh, i think kirk fogg as well as omac and all the, you know, the purple parrots, the silver monkeys, the uh, barracudas, the blue barracudas, the parrots. I can't really remember the uh, colors and stuff. And then the, um, the whole uh, uh, voodoo uh, uh, temple guards, yeah. I couldn't think of uh, whatever I was trying to say. I couldn't think of the, the temple guards and all, so. So, can't wait for all those to come out. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll do a, a video, maybe talk about whenever the first episode airs of all these little, th uh, at least of, or when the new episode, first episode airs of the DuckTales, I'll, I'll let you know about, I mean, I'll do a review of that, the Hey Arnold movie, the Rocco's TV special, and then hopefully uh, whenever the Temple, uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple movie comes out, I'll do a review of it, maybe. So, I'll let you know. Um. That's pretty much it. Um, 
you know, leave some comments down below. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I try to make videos every other Wednesday. Sometimes it might be two Wednesdays might go by during the whole week and I might not have nothing up or I might just post a little video of something I made, you know, just to kind of tie y'all over till the next video that whenever I talk about. Um, and vi visit my, my Twitter page and my um, and my YouTube Facebook page. I also have my, my personal Facebook page. If y'all want to click and uh, you know, uh, like me or whatever, uh, be my friend and stuff, uh, you can uh, ask me some questions. Maybe I'll do a, a question and answer uh, video if y'all want me to about my life, about whatever I do and you know, what it is I like to collect. Uh, I will be going uh, to a convention at the end of this month, which actually starts uh, October 1st and 2nd, which is called Retro Palooza. I'm going to go go and meet some of the YouTube stars, so hopefully I'll do a video of that whenever I get to go there. Uh, that'll be sometime in Dallas, um, Saturday and Sunday of October 1st. If y'all can make it, maybe y'all can. Uh, I know that uh, Andre's going to be there, Black Nerd Comedy, uh, Boogie, I can't think of his, his whole... Uh, he, he, he does that uh, Francis, he does the Francis videos. Uh, you have the blonde uh, nerd, the blonde girl nerd, uh, which I've watched a couple of. I mean, the game chasers are gonna be there because they're the ones that host the actual um, convention. Uh, one of my friend's favorites, which I've watched him in episode or certain videos that he's done, uh, Omega Sin. Alpha Omega Sin is gonna be there too. Um, a lot, a lot of them, a, a lot of these uh, YouTubers, so hopefully I'll do a video of talking to them. May, I don't know if I'll get to do any interviews with them, but if I want, um, I don't know how, how I could do this. Um, like I said, I don't have an Instagram, I don't have the any of the other stuff, plus being at my phone. I can receive twit, twits, I can receive um, tweets on my phone, I just can't um receive pictures i mean if they're really or video you know if they're if they're because uh, it kind of distorts on my on my camera but uh yeah just um leave some comments below uh ask me some questions maybe if you want to if you want to leave me some questions i can ask some of these uh youtubers that y'all might watch um let me know or even ask me what uh I, what what i'll do is i'll leave a description below I'll put a, um, the website for Retro Palooza so y'all can go check it out and see all the other uh, YouTube stars that are going to be there. Um, I'll also leave, you know, my descriptions of my Facebook, my Twitter, and my other Facebook page down below. So click on those. Uh, like me, do everything. Subscribe to me. Uh, that's pretty much it. So um, till next time, guys, this is your VHS Collector Call. Say frogs, bears, chickens, and things. Boys and girls, women and men from all over the world. It's your VHS Collector Kyle saying, I'll see you later, so say it da Hi, everybody out there in YouTube land. You know who this is. It's your VHS Collector Kyle here with a new video. I figured I would talk about the new things that are coming out in this year as well as next year. Some of the things I'm looking forward to, that is. Um, maybe y'all can tell from the look of my shirt that most of the things I'm going to be talking about, you know, might have already heard about this, you might have already known about this. There's probably other people, I'm, I, I know there is, there's a lot of people out there that's already talked about this, but I'm going to, you know, show my feelings about it, you know, or share my feelings. Show my feelings. Share my feelings with you about how I feel about these things. Share my feelings with you about how I feel about this thing. I got my little handy. I think it'd be kind of neat if Mickey Mouse and Goofy popped up. I think that'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind seeing that in the show. Uh, I mean, yes, uh, the the original voice of Uncle Scrooge uh, passed away just of uh, just of last year. I think it was last year, or the year before that. Um, and I can't think of his name at the top of my head, which. I've always remembered his name. He was uh, Wilbur on uh, Mr. Ed and all. But um, 
I can't wait to see it. So uh, it'll be airing on Disney XD sometime next year. So uh, be looking out for that. Uh, my other one I'm going to talk about is pretty much the rest will be all Nick. Nickelodeon stuff. All pretty much 90s Nickelodeon stuff. Uh, hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie. Uh, which was brought up back whenever the series was on the air. To, to just uh, point that out. Oh, uh, but uh, uh, I can't wait for it to come out. Um, it's sad to know that they're recasting all the voices. Uh, I kind of wish they wouldn't. Uh, hopefully, maybe, hopefully they'll get um, uh, Tony, oh, Tony Arsenio, uh, not Tony Arsenio, or, so, uh, or Alonzo, I don't know, I can't really remember his name. That was one of the things I should have looked up. But um, the, uh, the one that's been prov uh, providing the voice of Donald Duck to begin with, hopefully that Donald will be in this new series and not be away like in the original series. I'd love to see that. I'd love to have it have Uncle, uh, Uncle Scrooge and Uncle Donald with uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Webby and maybe a few other characters from, you know, the, the show. But since the theatrical movie of, of Hey Arnold um, tanked and didn't do really good in theaters, that's how come the series got canceled. The, the series just ended up getting canceled and so I believe that there was supposed to be, uh, it was going to be the Jungle movie. Like if this one did really well, they are going to do a theatrical pretty much which would uh, end the whole series where Har Arnold actually goes out searching for his parents. Um, which I can't wait. Um, that'll be sometime next year as well. Uh, I know that the characters are supposed to be a lot older. Uh, they have a lot of concept art out. They got some new drawings of the of the main four characters that uh, I've seen, which is Helga, Arnold, Gerald, and um, uh, I can't think. Dandy Dandy clipboard, so I can read off whatever I'm talking about. Since I'm lazy to do edits, especially having to remember stuff, because I am stupid. Okay. First one that I'm going to talk about is the uh, new reboot of the DuckTales series. Uh, they have some pictures, only two really. There's two pictures that they have out. The first one which came out, and then they had a newest one, which is recently that I saw on a, on Twitter. Uh, not recently, but I mean I saw it as I was looking up images for it, but I'm pretty sure it, it was put on Twitter. Um, it looks neat. I like the art style. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, I understand that uh, the classic DuckTales is always going to be my favorite. Uh, really, the only thing on this whole list that's uh, Disney 